Hey guys, this is Angie and today I'm going to be bringing you another video tutorial. This tutorial today is we're going to be talking about how to uh, do some masking, how to remove your subject from your background to add new backgrounds. I know a lot of people are interested in that. So we're going to start with this photo. And we're going to show you how to mask out of this photo. First thing I'm gonna do is, uh, let's just make a, a, the background that we're gonna be using for this particular image. And I'm just gonna fill this with a color. And just pink. And now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna deselect this. I'm gonna select my background. I'm gonna go to channels. That. And I'm going to select the channel that has the most information as in the most contrast with one another. I check red is not no contrast. Green has a little bit of contrast, but in this case, blue has the most contrast. I will make a copy by dragging this down to the paper, folded paper. This is going to make a copy of my channel. So now we have blue copy. I'm going to go to image adjustments and levels. I'm going to make the image like a silhouette. I only want the silhouette of the photograph. Make it really, really dark. There we go. Really white. It's like a cutout. Now I'm going to go to burn and I'm going to select shadows. This is going to um, allow me to burn the areas that need to be darkened without um without doing anything to the highlight area and then i will select the dosh here and this allows me to fix the white area make it really white without doing anything to the really dark areas so that's as much as I can burn and dodge. So now I'm just gonna select a paintbrush to paint in the white areas to black. So I want a perfect silhouette. And again, I'm gonna grab my dodge into it and I'm going to go here in the corners. There we go. So we have an almost perfect, there we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this to the little circle that has a lot of little dots. That means it's a selection. And that's gonna make a selection of what our mask will be looking like. Now, I made my selection. I will go back to layers. I will toggle that the background on. And I will click the mask. There we go. I made a, a layer mask right there. Perfectly fine. That is so easy. It's really quick. But we notice that um, there's a little bit of little jagged edges and still a little bit of white around the area. That's an easy fix. We are going to be smudging our mask. So we grab the smudge tool. Oops. We select our mask. And we put like a uh, low strength. And what I'm doing is I'm moving that background behind.
as much as I can, just a little bit. Just enough to get rid of those little tiny white areas that stay behind. And there you have it, our perfect mask. Um, but this picture seems pretty easy, right? Let's say that um, you wanted to change your background. This is just like a little cheat code that I, uh, cheat code, a little cheat that I do. Additionally, like when I wanna change my background and there's a person that has um, like a lot of hair detail I'm gonna show you what I would do in that instance. So close this one. You see all the hair? For this, I do like a little, I like to cheat a little bit. So let's make a background. And we're going to fill this the same color, I guess. And instead of, um, I'm still gonna do um, a rough mask like I did before, but in, for the hair detail, I'm just gonna select my background and I'm gonna blend it to multiply. As you can see, all the detail in the hair, you, you can still see behind the background and you still see the hair. Then, again, I'm gonna go to my channels and my blue channel again has the most information. I'm going to do a copy. Just the same steps that we did earlier. Okay. I'm going to grab my burn tool. I'm going to burn this. And now I'm gonna grab my Dodge tool. Still got the silhouette of the hair a little bit there. And I'm going to make a selection, go into layers and voila. There we go. Now I'm gonna roughly around the hair areas. Gonna unmask just a little bit around the details on a really low opacity too here, my black brush. And just gonna Gonna mask out just a little bit. I'm 
And there you go. You have uh, um, basically a new background and you have all the detail, all the detail in the hair. And then you can make the background whatever you want. And again, you have all the detail there. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And see you next time.